Hi, I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Hannick, physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course. Matt, today we're going to talk about a crooked back. And uh, this is one that you didn't have all your life. We're talking about one that just suddenly came on and you were having back pain along with it. Right. So I'm going to show you one way it could look. I mean, it's basically your back is shifted over like this. How am I doing, Brad? Am I getting over there? Yeah, this is a nice shirt to wear. You must have wore this shirt for my sister mine because you got the vertical lines here, but you can see it goes way over. And as a physical therapist, this is one thing you're going to see. It's not real uncommon to have someone walk in looking like this, shifted away, having back pain. And usually, if they shift this way, the pain's going down the opposite leg. Right. Or so the butt pain's arm. going down this leg. Right. Quite often, this is called by caused by a disc bulge or a disc protrusion. I mean, the disc is actually popping out and yeah. causing you to go over. And if you don't correct that shift or that crooked back. Yeah. Your back is not going to get better, not very easily. Right. I mean, they, these things will hang on forever sure. if you don't get your back straightened up again. So we're going to show you an exercise for doing that. 90% of the people get better using this exercise, uh, according to Mackenzie. I just want to tell you a quick story. I had a lady come in one time. She wasn't even a patient. Mm -hmm. She came in. She was coming in to see another patient. She came in real crooked like this. And they didn't know what to do with her. They were going to actually fit her with one of those turtle shells. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm like, I had to step in and just say, listen, lady, you come and see me and I'll, I'll, I'll get rid of this thing. Right. And we did. Within yeah. two treatments, we got her straightened out and she didn't have to wear a turtle shell. But she had had it for months, Brad. It just wouldn't go away. Yeah. So we'll show the exercise. Again, you're shifted over. My teacher in McKenzie actually told me it's like you're carrying a pig. Because <laughs> there's, there's room over here for, for carrying a pig. So with that, let's cut here and then we'll go to the wall. Okay, again, so if my shift is this way and the pain is typically is on the opposite side, so I've got pain over here, probably going down my left leg a little bit, and I'm shifted like this, you're gonna take this shoulder up against the wall and what can work nice is you take a towel roll, you bend your elbow, keep your elbow along your rib cage, maybe hike your shoulder up a little bit and put that right there, just like this. And your feet are how far out, Brad? About 12 inches from the wall. These are 12 inch uh, uh, tile squares. So I'm about 12 inches right there. Put your feet together, good tall posture. And then I like to put my hand right yep. here and I'm gonna go this direction with my hips and you can see what's going on there. Now we don't have to go through what, what's going on and what's, how it's correcting the disc, but it is gonna help correct that crookedness and get into a straight back and we're going to do 10 repetitions and you're going to do that every hour assuming now if you do this and you get sharp pain and the pain goes down your leg more and more you need to stop doing it it's yeah, not exactly. ready for it if you do this and by the first one it kind of hurts and then after about three or four it starts to feel a little better and by the time you're on the 10th one it's feeling pretty good you're right on the money. Then you want to hit it every hour 10 times. And within a couple of days, you're probably going to have that shift corrected. Any, any other comments? Well, the only thing I would say then is after the shift has been corrected, then you can go ahead and do, you know, uh, and I'll put that up there. Some of the, you can actually start bending backward then right. and start doing some back right. extensions. Uh, the exercises you might do for sciatica. Sure, uh, sure. Uh, or the McKenzie technique, which if you want to look for a therapist who's been trained in McKenzie, on their website, they actually have a therapist locator mm -hmm. that'll find one. No matter where you are in the world, they have them pretty much all over the world. Right, I think and, they're at 37, 30, 36, 30, yeah. 30 some countries. 30 some com countries. I'll put the website down here. It's uh, mckenziemdt.org. And uh, go ahead and look for them because you may need it if you get stuck here. Right. So, again, you know, if he was shifted, you know, like if you're shifted this way, Brad like that basically the wall was straightening him out yeah. and putting him back straight again so and it, you got to get that straight before you're going to get better right you better um, believe it and um, probably most people are tuned out by now bob but i really did have this happen to me about a year ago and i was walking in and my therapist i came into work and she said look your back is shifted and i i really didn't even know it right a lot of times people don't know it and she said wow and then i looked in the mirror and it's like yeah it was crooked like that so i started doing this exercise and works works uh, like a charm yeah. what's this bob Ha, ha, ha.